the game. It's a Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial and today I'll show you the color grading process of the photo. So let's get started. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, we open up a sample image. I'll provide you the image download link for your practice purpose and then copy this one by dragging and dropping in a plus sign. After that, going to the filter and going to the camera filter you know that the camera raw filter is updated now I'm using 16.2 so if you don't have the download link of this 16.2 I'll provide you the download link in my video description so please check out my video description so from here little bit of change in the 16.2 because of the light exposure and everything just resort it number one the light here we are getting the exposure, contrast, highlights, shadow, whites and blacks. In a color segment, we are getting the color like this, the temperature, tint, vibrance, saturation and the everything. And here is the options you can choose the as a shoot. If you select these like drop or eyedropper, you can check out this. So at first, we'll take the color from the eyes so we are taking the color from the eyes so that is the custom color tone that's good and the effects you are getting the effect section the texture clarity dehaze vignetting and the grain if you want to add some grain you can use 10 percent that's good so now going to the curves you are getting the curves over there here is some points if you just select in this point you can get the new bar over there here is the luminance and, and the rgb that is the red green and blue and here is other one that is the gray scale and here the hue saturation here the hue saturation luminance so first of all we are going to the hue so going to the green point and we are taking the hue like this if you want you can take the hue like that and the saturation if you select that and we are working for the green saturation so you can reduce the green saturation like that so now in this point we are going to the face so in this point you can add some saturation or de-highlight or desaturate the face and going to the hue if you want to change the hue of the face you can do that and the luminance you can make the glow of the face and now if we go to the eyes the eyes will be like increase the luminance in the green portion we're down this one we're making down and the saturation a little bit of saturation and then after completing the carved tone I'm going to the light option exposure i'll make a little bit of down and the contrast little bit up and the highlight will adding some highlight over there not too much and the shadow adding some shadow in this case we are decreasing the highlight and the blacks will make the blacks like that so let's see the before and after before one and after one and now we'll go to the color correction so color grading we are getting the three points that is the mid-tone shadow and highlight so going to the mid-tone here you can check it out so shadow mid tone and highlight so in a shadow portion we are choosing a color before that we have to select some value for the situation in this case i am taking the 10 and now we can choose the perfect saturation or perfect color for here so that is our color and the saturation and here is the blending you can blend this if you want to change the color you can do that so i'm taking this color that's good and the balance you can balance that up and then the shadow the darker area is the shadow and in this case i'm taking the saturation 21 and taking here 10 is good 10 or 11 and now going to the hue any sort of color you can choose from so i'm taking this sort of color so this color for the hair and the shape and everything 
so before and after hues change now in a shadow and the highlight we just done the shadow and highlight you can choose any sort of color for the highlight so i'm choosing this sort of color that's fine and now turning it off and the, now again going to the like color mixture and here the hue saturation so from here the hue will increase the hue or changing the hue of the green that is the green and the saturation will increase a little bit okay let's see the before one and after one and then the luminance that is down and we want to change up the face luminance a little bit of up and the saturation a little bit of down and the red portion meaning in a lip portion saturation is up that's fine and the luminance should be a little bit of up that's good let's see the before one that is the amateur type uh, color tone and uh, i would say that is the boring and that is the like uh, different types of tone and in this case from this uh, fx panel i'll add some little bit of green 21 it will just make your photo more dramatic and the color from the color portion i'll change the vibrance a little bit of down that is minus 20 that's good and the tint that is good and the saturation i'll make it plus 10 or plus 20 okay let's see the before one and after one so i'm just saving this preset for you guys and i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new this sort of amazing tutorial about color grading photoshop designing and the logo designing so until the next video is when i'm signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye